Wagner, shadowy Russian military group, fighting in Libya. Hundreds of mercenaries from Russia's shadowy Wagner group are operating in Libya, a leaked UN report says. They have been supporting renegade General Khalifa Haftar's battle against the Tripoli-based government, it says. Since 2014, Libya has been split between areas controlled by the sides. Wagner is believed to have been involved in conflicts in Ukraine, Syria, and elsewhere. The Russian government denies any state involvement in the militants' group. The report was compiled by impartial displays for the UN's Libya Sanctions Committee. It has not been made public but nevertheless it has been seen by information businesses. It is the primary time the UN has confirmed reviews of Wagner's involvement in Libya, placing the variety of operatives at between 800 and 1,000. The 57-page report says Wagner operatives have been in Libya since October 2018, providing technical support for the repair of military vehicles and participating in combat operations. UN report says its members have been performing as artillery and air observers, in addition to providing electronic countermeasures expertise and deploying as sniper teams. The personnel have been primarily Russian, however there have been additionally nationals of Belarus, Moldova, Serbia, and Ukraine, the report mentioned. Early this 12 months, Russian President Vladimir Putin mentioned any nationals in Libya didn't symbolize Moscow, nor have been they paid by the state. The UN report additionally says that Syrian mercenaries are combating alongside Gen Haftar. Wagner was reported to have been founded by Dmitry Utkin, believed to be a former member of a special forces brigade of Russian military intelligence, the GRU. Media have reported Dmitry Utkin's call sign was Wagner, given to him due to his admiration of the Nazi regime, which appropriated the composer's work to support its vision of Germany. Wagner made its presence felt first in Russia's military takeover of Ukraine's Crimea Peninsula in March 2014 and in the pro-Russian insurgency which erupted in Ukraine's Donetsk and Luhansk regions the following month. How the group is run and funded is open to speculation. Some media sources suggest the GRU secretly oversees it. Investigations by Western journalists have linked the wealthy Russian businessman nicknamed Putin's chef, Yevgeny Prigozhin, to the group. Mr. Prigozhin, part of Mr. Putin's elite circle, has denied it. Analysts say that as the Russian government does not officially recognize the mercenaries' existence, it can deny or play down any Russian casualties while maintaining a military presence. Wagner has been reported as operating in a number of nations hit by conflict. A BBC Russian investigation in 2018 highlighted the deaths of Russian mercenaries fighting in Syria. As many as 2,500 members were serving there, with officers reportedly earning up to 300,000 rubles, 3,800 pounds, $5,300, a month. Wagner activities have also been reported in Madagascar and the Central African Republic, CAR. Three Russian journalists investigating Wagner's involvement were shot dead in the CAR in 2018.